Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and I truly thank you guys for watching my videos and giving me thumbs up. And today I'm going to share a recipe of my grandmother's. Now, my neighbors, they go to some food bank somewhere, and they're always getting stuff. And they bring me stuff also because they say they get too much, and they gave me six cans of biscuits. Now, it's not something I normally use. I just don't use canned biscuits. I don't really buy them. But my grandmother used to, when I was younger, a kid, she would keep canned biscuits on hand so that if she had unexpected company drop by, she could make a quick dessert and serve coffee. And I'm going to share a recipe of my grandmother's. Now, I'm going to use this pan I, you can use any size pan, round, square, it doesn't really matter. Oh, wow. These biscuits are pretty big. They really are. See, these canned biscuits, I've never seen in any of our stores here, so I don't know where they came from. I'm like, I don't know how the food banks got them. But I'm going to take them and cut them in half, and then I'll cut the halves in half again. And then... You see, I, this is the one of the reasons I don't like doing videos. Uh, I don't have the lighting. I don't have the space. I don't like to do videos of cooking. My lighting is very dark and poor and my space. I don't have a lot of space, you know, don't have stands for cameras. Guys, I can't afford to go out and do all that. But I love sharing inexpensive things. And for me, this was free. I mean, all I had to have was the sugar and the cinnamon, and that I have. I had a, this is a half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And the biscuits are free. Um, sugar is something I, in general, keep on hand. I, ho I hope everybody is. I mean, you know, most homemakers, I mean, if you're stocking and storing, sugar is definitely one of those things that you should be storing so that you can make desserts. I'm going to use two cans of these biscuits because of the pan I have, I believe that two cans can fit. I really do, so I'm probably going to end up using two cans of this. Now, I'm going to speed this up. There you are. They're all cut up, dipped in the sugar, and topped with a little bit of butter. You see, just a little bit going around the whole top here. It helps when the butter melts, it dissolves the sugar and the cinnamon and makes them more gooey. So, give a pretty good dose of butter all around, okay? And uh, we're going to bake these in the oven. Once you get all your butter on top of there, we're going to bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 450. These are going to be some of the most... They really are. It reminds you of cinnamon rolls. That's what it tastes like. And they are absolutely delicious. They really are. Now, I'm putting these in the oven and taking them out. 15 minutes at 450. You can see they're really brown. And what I've got is one cup of sugar. And for this, you can use milk, water, but melted butter, melted margarine, it's up to you. Whatever you have on hand. I was saying my grandmother even used water. And you just want to kind of stir it around until you get it the consistency that you like. Everybody's different when it comes to putting this glaze on top of their cinnamon roll. Some people really, they put on a thick, thick, white, white glaze. I mean, really thick. And mine's going to be what I call medium thick. I'm going to really drizzle this all over the top of this. And it'll be really, really delicious. But I'm going to try to go in between, you know, so that some of it kind of drizzles down in between also of the little pieces. Because one of the wonderful things about this dessert is you can actually take a spoon, go in between, and pour yourself out a hunk of it. It's just... it. It can separate off with just one piece, three or four pieces. This is the wonderful thing about this dessert made with these biscuits because when you cut them in force like that and put them in there, 
It's just something else. It's very easy to just pull out a piece, part. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh the smell. Oh, it is so, I mean, it's the cinnamon. And just looking at that glaze. Mm. I It brings back memories of my childhood. As a kid, I loved this. I really did. I had all, I had forgotten about it. You know, I've made donuts with biscuits when I was much younger because, of, you know, until I learned out how to make them by scratch, I used to make them a can and then I learned how to make them from scratch and I never made them again from can, never bought canned biscuits again. But as a child, I remember my grandmother doing this and then I got these biscuits for free. And hey, if you like canned biscuits or you want something quick and easy but delicious, this is good enough to serve guests. It really, really is. Well, thank you guys and God bless. <laughs>